Now, we have heard from Hillary Clinton just a day after a failed assassination attempt on Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton said that the former president posed a danger to our country and the world, and she wants the media to increase the narrative that Donald Trump is essentially evil. And I don't understand why it's so difficult for the press to have a consistent narrative about how dangerous uh, Trump is. Uh, you know, the late great uh, journalist Harry Evans, uh, you know, one time uh, said that, uh, you know, journalists uh, should, you know, really try to achieve objectivity. And by that, he said, I mean, they should cover the object. Well, the object in this case is Donald Trump. Uh, his demagoguery, his uh, danger to our country and the world, and stick with it. It's so hard to listen to this. Josh, can I get your reaction? You know, here we are. It's eight years after Hillary Clinton lost to Donald J. Trump, and she clearly has not gotten over it. I, I mean, that mm -hmm. is my takeaway from Hillary Clinton, of all people, going around the speaking circuit. She actually has a brand new memoir out this month, if I'm not mistaken there. I mean, I, I, I don't know who takes Hillary Clinton seriously. Apparently, MSNBC, our left-wing media, at least some parts of it still take her seriously there. But, I mean, that's my number one takeaway, listening to her speak. I, I mean, talk about yesterday's news. But, I, I you know, after Butler, Pennsylvania, where it's worth clarifying there. You know, a shot shots were fired in Butler, Pennsylvania. We you know mm -hmm. we lost a, a heroic man on on that field in in suburban Pittsburgh on that day. Donald Trump would have been a dead man if he hadn't turned just like that at the very last second. He would have been a dead man. So at that point, you actually did have some liberals, not many but some who were starting to say, "Okay, you know what? Maybe it's time to tone it down a little bit." Not all, but there were some yeah. In the aftermath of what happened on Sunday, you know, I, I, it's like Butler, Pennsylvania never happened. And now they're just looking at this guy who, thank God, never got a shot off. And, and we're just trying to pretend like this never happened. But, you know, what I've been doing my various platforms all week, Abby, is to make sure that the American people don't forget that this happened. Because th th this, is, this, is a tra this is a tragedy of the highest order. It is a tragedy of the highest order that we are about to decide a monumental, pivotal election. We, we have a lot on the ballot this November. If Kamala Harris becomes president of the United States, we're not going to recognize this country, I fear, for to God help us eight years from now. She's going to undermine, sabotage and try to destroy the United States Supreme Court. This country is going to be the floodgates open like never before when it comes to legal aliens from all around the third world there. I could go on there. There's a lot mm. on the ballot. And the notion that an assassin's bullet or an assassin's would-be bullet could actually play a role at this point in determining the election is third world clown car stuff. I, I mean, as someone who has devoted his adult's life to trying to defend this country and restore it to its noble and righteous founding ideals, I cannot believe what I'm seeing out there.